I was just doing a little watering here because it seems like this time of year I can give up a little and stop watering, but I've noticed like the flowers in particular are looking quite sad without having had rain in a little while. So I thought I'd give everybody a good drink, but I was gonna kind of contemplate the plans for next year. And I don't know what we could have done different this year. Um, so I thought I'd just walk through that a little bit and see what we can figure out. Since we're over here at the zucchini, um, well, next year I'm not going to do zucchini, so that's not a problem, but definitely, even though I had zucchini that I was trying to trellis up vertically, um, they still really shaded out these peppers, so that was a poor choice, but I also didn't trellis very well. They kept drooping. I, I should have used more string or something to tie them up, live and learn. Um, the beans, boy, I don't know if it's just because it's the first year that I've really done beans, but I got so much, so many beans off of here, and probably I could have got even more if I was picking them a little more often, but they did really well. And the cucumbers over here, I think the biggest thing about these is that um, I, th I ended up planting twice or something. I did something weird. So they were, there was a lot of plants and they were really close together. And so I think you end up with a lot of poor pollination. So you get these weird shaped ones, um, like this thing, where is it? Yeah, that thing. Just cause there's, they're so packed in there that like the pollinators can't get in there and figure it out. We're starting to get some, you know, disease and I should pull them out for the end, end of the year anyway, but I haven't gotten around to that. The dill did really well in here. It started getting a little crowded with the vines and I had a volunteer pumpkin, which also won't be here next year or will get pulled. The sorrel, I think I could have trimmed that back a little better. I don't know, I'll use a different tool to do that. And the lettuce, I was hoping to kind of get a fall harvest, but I think I got to dig some of this up and kind of replant a little bit in here. I don't know, you know what, why am I bothering to water these? I'm gonna pull them up, I don't, <laughs> I'm done with the zucchini, I promise. I just need to, you know, get that in my mind. So here's one of my flowers, it was looking sad, but these guys over here, these were like the little bitty zinnias, but this pot, it just got too hot and didn't get watered enough. So they did not do well. They got a couple little tiny flowers on them, but nothing too, I probably should have picked this thing. This is a spider flower just in the middle of my rocks, but it was doing really good, so I left it. One thing I for sure will do again next year is zinnias. I love having all these. And I don't really care if they're too crowded because I don't do a lot of cut flowers, picking them. So I just like cramming them in and they look nice. I got some volunteer. I thought, let's see, what were these? These look like little, like baby boos maybe? So I wasn't sure if those were patty pans or, or what, but I definitely have to plant my pots earlier, like the seed ones, because my Marigolds are just starting to bud now. These look sad, but I didn't really, it's kind of an afterthought, so not too concerned about these pots. I'll maybe do something that looks a little nicer next year. I haven't figured out how I want to lay everything out over here. And the kids, fairy gardens. A corn grew in there. We just left it. Um, oops, knocking over plants here. I just want to get some water over in the sky on this side. Definitely, if I do the zinnias, I probably don't do them in the fairy garden because they're quite large. But that's fine. It was, we needed something in there, so we just threw them in. And the whole pumpkin patch, that's a whole different situation for next year. 
the strawberries, I don't know. Haven't figured this one out yet. Some, some of them did all right. These ones maybe on the bottom get a little more shade. Maybe that's what they need. These ones on the top do not. Maybe I should put something else up here. There's all these ones on the bottom are really spreading. So, I don't know. Lots of weeds. Which I should pull. Let's see if I can get my hose pulled out here to do these. These guys just, I don't know, not much of this did well. I don't know if I need to compost in here better, get some more. Definitely need to weed. I probably should start some of these gourds inside, but I hate the timing of starting these things is so difficult because if they start getting just giant before you can put them outside, then it's a big old mess and they're kind of gangly and they don't like being transplanted. So a lot of these were actually from seed because I figured they'd, they seem to do better, but they just, we don't have a lot of time. So I got some good gourds in there. I don't have any loofa. They are climbing. You can see those yellow flowers up there are loofa. And I like doing those on the trellis because they take up a lot of space. So they would cover this whole trellis had they had more time. So I don't know. We'll see what happens in the spring, how ambitious I am or the winter or whatever. So a couple more gourds there. Now these beds, you can't even tell there's a bed there. These got a little wilder than I expected. Um, in the winter, I went through and I left all this tall stuff. And then I went through and I like sprinkled all the seeds around just to make sure. Well, I maybe didn't have to do that. The bachelor buttons are just crazy. This was a primrose I just left. Should probably pick that. Um, and I was not, I did not keep up on the deadheading. So I don't know if I would have deadheaded more if these would have a lot more blooms on them this late. Um, I actually tried to take the weed whacker at it a little bit, but I didn't want to get rid of the flowers that were still going good. So this bed was mo turned out to be mostly bachelor buttons, and then that one was a lot of calendula. Um, probably doesn't really matter if I water these at this point. It's getting, oh, my hose isn't reaching very far. All right, back over here. I definitely need to figure out the whole primocane, floricane, what kind of raspberries these are and which things I need to prune. And the whole sunflowers next to the corn didn't really work out the greatest, but um, I'm getting a few ears of corn here. Definitely need to, next year, here's what I'm thinking. I try to pull as much of the volunteers as I can and plant the shorter sunflowers along the wall there, like the teddy bears and things like that. Um, instead of these, these are all volunteer, like very few of these are probably ones I even planted. They're all just like the wild, the ones that farmers do not want in their fields. But um, I'm also not gonna leave them this fall. I'm gonna cut them all down and make like a sunflower teepee shock basically kind of thing um, so the birds can still get all the seeds and stuff but it isn't everything always falls on my fence and it falls all over the place so i think that's what i'm gonna harvest those when it gets because you can see they're just falling down everywhere it's very obnoxious um i didn't plant as many musk melon as i usually do i don't know if that's a good or bad thing yet um i gotta pick some there's some in here that are definitely ready I don't know if they really need to be watered at this point either. But I think, and the watermelon, they're okay. They got shaded a bit, but it was not a big deal. I've got volunteer tomatoes over here that did just gangbusters. Um, more than it seems like I can sell. But maybe I'll make some, freeze some sauce. 
it's the one thing maybe that we would use after it's been preserved. Onions, carrots. I'm really bad about picking carrots. I just dumped water into my shoe. So I need to harvest some carrots and thin some. I'm pulling these suckers out this year. I know I've said that. But if I leave like one at best, <laughs> that'll be good. I just can't. I need more cone flowers. I'm gonna try to throw a bunch of cone flower seeds. I've got some in my other garden in town. So I'm gonna bring some out here and throw those in this fall so they can uh, stratify over the winter and hopefully get, we'll see some purple in here next year instead of so much yellow, though the bees seem pretty happy about it. But um, what else? Let's see, the row of zinnias here look really nice, but they are a little close to my tomatoes, so I'm not sure how I feel about that as far as being able to get in and out of there. The butterflies love them. Tomatoes did all right. Potatoes did all right. I don't know, I might put some of those out. Maybe, okay, here's what I was thinking. I could do the zinnias on this side, on this end, and do the potatoes out where the pumpkins usually go. That might be because then I could just mulch the whole thing. Huh, that's a plan, I think I might do that. So I usually switch tomatoes and other things each year, but since I'm not doing cucumbers or anything, I guess I could do beans, I could do pole beans out here a little bit and do the tomatoes in the other spot. But yeah, I don't know. Those are kind of my initial thoughts here for fall coming up. I got some projects in mind for making some plant markers for my um, bulbs that are in here. So maybe make those this winter and then mark them in the spring when they come up. A little bit bigger. I do have the like golf tee ones but they're so small you can't really see them. So now like when I go through here and try and pull some of these out, it'll be hard to see what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Sorry, allergies. I'm pretty sniffly. But yeah, my goldenrod finally bloomed. This is getting a little wild. I was trying to pull all this stuff in the aisle up, but I missed, obviously. So it's a bit of a jungle. But yeah, that, I don't know. That's the, my thoughts. <laughs>